Good morning, I'm uh, Enrique Vega, co-founder and uh, CEO of Azalea Vision. There are many patients that they are suffering from uh, different symptoms. These patients are coming from different conditions, but the symptoms are the same. Let me put you one example. Patients with Harris disorders, for example, they suffer from lack of depth of field. It's the same symptom that patients with presbyopia are suffering. The patients also with Harris disorders might suffer from uh, photophobia which is also a common symptom suffered by patients uh, with albinism or patients with um, chronic migraine, dry eye syndrome, or traumatic brain injury. Other patients, for example, uh, the patients with traumatic eye injury might suffer from uh, glare, allos, and starburst. Actually, this is the same, these are the same symptoms that the patients post-LASIK with some errors are suffering or cataract uh, uh, operations or multifocal, uh, multifocus IOL implantation. Some of these devices, they create some side effects which are related with GLIR and ALO. So completely different patients but suffering from the same conditions and physicians are not finding the right solution for these uh, patients. This is exactly what we are developing in Athalia Vision. We are developing an iris, a bionic iris, but it's not inside the body, it's in a contact lens. The bionic iris is actually made of nanotechnology. As you can see here in the bottom left, uh, there is an NFC antenna, some chips connected with, uh, let's say, the brain, the intelligence, a battery that will last for the whole day of operations. This is produced on a wafer level, and then is thermoformed and embedded inside a contact lens. So what we will have actually is a series of rings that we can address independently and program and customize for each patient. First, because the patient might have different needs, but also the patient will have the control to uh, change the therapy as they move from a room like this with the light in front of me or going to a, a walk in the park. We also are developing a smart case that the patient will use to charge the device during the night, clean the device because it's a contact lens, and eventually program the device. The video is not uh, rendering very good. Uh, so this, this product will be, let's say, customized by the patient as, as they move forward. Just an example of a patient with an Iridia and a Zimax um, um, simulation. You see here in the left what a patient would see, with an Iridia would see, these patients with an Iridia are patients where the iris is not working at all, it's an extreme patient. And you see in the right what the patient would see with our platform. And actually the effect that you can see here is as you close the iris, the visual, the visual quality, let's say, will increase. So that is exactly what we will be able to do to uh, customizing this uh, iris to each uh, patient. If you think about which are the solutions today, there is no solution that matches uh, what this kind of patient needs. Either you implant an iris, like the Morcher or Human Optics or Optex. Now there are some uh, IOLs also that they have a ring. Of course, this is a fixed ring inside the eye. And then there is also these lenses from Johnson & Johnson AccuView, which are a great product, but there are no iris effect. There is no rings. It's just, let's say, a sunglass that takes one to two minutes to become dark and one on two minutes to become uh, transparent. So in our case, we will not require any kind of surgery. We can command the pinhole effects. The patients will keep the control of the therapy if needed with their uh, smartphone. And as it is a contact lens, we will be able also to correct refractive errors like myopia or astigmatism. In terms of, of uh, our roadmap of uh, patients, we will start, if I can say, with the low-hanging fruit, with the patients with aniridia, where the iris is completely dysfunctional, uh, patients also with presbyopia. We are going to develop the solution initially inside an scleral contact lens to move after to a soft contact lens. We will start some IDA studies somewhere in 2024 with these aniridia and presbyopia patients, and at that moment we will develop and include the same electronics, but inside a softer contact lens, because our platform is completely bendable, it's, it's, can be included in a, in a soft contact lens. And then at that moment, with a de novo submission, 
We are also discussing with the FDA to get a breakthrough uh, device uh, uh, the, uh, submission. Then in that case, we will be able to use our de novo submission as a predicate for the next uh, market expansion. We have, uh, we are three founders, uh, Andres uh, Vasquez, Peter Vermolin, and myself. We have already uh, very good investors like Amec, Expand, Elias, and Sinobat. Um, and we have been collaborating with different uh, physicians and different uh, doctors. We are a spin-off from IMEC and the University of Ghent. And we have already since July, uh, we started the company last July, we have 10 people working on the different um, specialties and a bunch of physicians and technicians that are helping us to put in place our, our company. So as a um, um, sum up, we are developing a smart bionic iris to alleviate the symptoms related with light, with light sensitivity. The total addressable market that we estimate is close to six billion per year. As the company was uh, incubated in IMEC and the University of Ghent for five years, there's a lot of steps already at the risk. Since July, we are now working on, on the development of the product and on the wafer production so that we will have reduced costs uh, since the beginning. And we have a strong IP portfolio that we, let's say, got from IMEC and Ugent, and we are developing further this, uh, this IP portfolio. The Series A, which happens last year, it uh, was a, a six million from our investors. We also got two millions from grants uh, from uh, Belgium institutions. And we are now thinking about how to put in place the uh, clinical strategy round, which will be Series B, and it will be between 15 and 20 million. That's all I have. Thank you.